I love it. I love it. It's so <laughs> cool. You make loads of friends. Teachers are great. Yeah. Teachers are so nice. You meet loads of new people and people from like old schools. I'm actually enjoying like all the lessons that I'm doing. I like all the computers everywhere and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. Everyone's so welcoming that you just feel at home straight away. Farnborough, it's magnificent. I guess, first of all, they can expect to be treated as young adults, and they can expect excellent teaching, and the Ofsted have said it's the best teaching in the country, and they can expect to have not a single lesson disrupted. I mean, they can expect to be able to study in an environment where everybody else is getting on with it, but also to enjoy it. That's what they can expect. It's much more laid back, and the people are really nice. Yeah, there's lovely people. It's fun, it's like the, t the teaching is really good as well. Lots of courses that you can choose, exactly what you want to do. It's an incredibly stimulating environment. There's so many opportunities, different learning styles in the classroom. The teachers here are very committed to absolutely the best A-level teaching that they can provide. They go on courses to upgrade their skills and therefore the students here benefit from that. So it's never boring and it's never dull. I have specific time on my timetable to deal with these students as individuals so I know what their concerns are, I have time to deal with them carefully, um, I build up a relationship with them and I, I find that very rewarding. We attract um, lots of staff who want to do lots of extracurricular activities. We have a fantastic enrichment programme but the thing that I'm most interested in is the Ghana link that we started last year where I took a group of 15 students to a school and we spent 10 days working in their school with a trip like Ghana, we all had a say in what happened. It's so important that you don't see the college as just somewhere where you learn. You've got to live life and be able to gain other experiences which will help you later on. And the trips they offer here are so diverse that there's going to be something for everyone, definitely. So it does complement the learning. We invite all sorts of people to come and open our new buildings or just to visit. Jane Nesbitt came to, to speak with our students in media. For the sports centre, well, Dame Kelly Holmes was the obvious person, double gold medalist. It's not just about grades here. It's about the opportunities for enrichment and, and all sorts of other activities. musical theatre group, we've got uh, a drama production group and we've got a uh, dance company as well and all of the students uh, as part of the, the curriculum offering and also the enrichment offering are um, continually working towards performances both internal and external, obviously predominantly using our, our wonderful theatre, uh, dance studio as well and, and also taking performances externally as well outside. It's just a wonderful example, really, of, of all of the good things that, that kind of take place at the college. I could have gone home a couple of hours ago, but I've just stayed here to play music with these guys because they have the facilities. Teachers are absolutely brilliant, help you and everyone. Uh, great lads, fit lads. different but I think that's a good thing because it's the next stage up in your life you would like a change it's exciting and it's just getting on with everyone everyone gets on with everyone else and it's just a nice place to be mm -hmm.